Okay, let's try this. I am going to stop sharing my screen. And Carolyn, I'm going to ask you to share yours. And this way we can walk you through it because uh, you might be having an issue with um, figuring out how to how to get back to there. So let me stop sharing. So Carolyn, I've stopped sharing my screen. You should be seeing your team's meeting now, and you should be seeing little icons for myself and for Lynn and for Robin. And up at the top, you should see we've got, we're 29 minutes in, you should see the different uh, show hide participants, the chat icon, the icon to raise your hand, you're seeing all of those. Next to that, you'll see the turn your webcam on and off, turn your mic on and off. And right between the mic and the leave meeting button, you'll see a little square with an arrow on it. Click on that. And now pick uh, the option to share your screen. You can share you can share a file, you can share an application, but you want to share your whole screen. Once you click on it, you'll see a bunch of different options come up at the bottom of your screen. I'm looking at mine now to share my screen and I'm seeing, uh, I see the whiteboard, PowerPoint, all of that, but I also see desktop and window. Desktop is what you wanna share. I am seeing your screen now. You've got your browser up with the Kahoot game. So if you wanna come back into your meeting, uh, maximize your meeting again so you can see all of us. There we go. So now you'll see on your toolbar on the bottom, I can see you have multiple Teams uh, icons there. When you look at the Teams icon on the bottom, it's got a number next to it. So if you hover your mouse over that, now you'll see the one that's got uh, the, the blues and grays in it. It's just got the, the Teams uh, meeting info as opposed to the meeting itself. It's the uh, the one on your left that's showing up there. There's two screens when you hover over that. This one, yeah. So now you are in the CBU Department of Education team. So if you want to click on All Teams, it's in the top left corner, All Teams. Now you can scroll down, uh, and I'll tell you which team it is. Keep scrolling, there we go, Rob's demo class. So you click there. Now you'll see the stuff that I was showing everybody before. You'll see the group A, the group B. So if you click on group A, you will see that there are some tabs at the top. I have a PowerPoint file in there. I have a space, an area for files. So this is where you and Lynn and Robin as a small group here in class can collaborate on a file together and then it'll all stay in the one space so you can access it after class. And you've got chat functionality in here. You've got a button at the top where you can meet and have a Teams meeting. So you can do this during class time, uh, synchromodal, or you can do it after class. You can schedule a group meeting to work on an assignment together. And you've got this private space where you can share all your files together. And you can also come into class now and you can present that PowerPoint slide deck here in class. So I can, I can access your group A area too, and I can open up your PowerPoint, bring it up on the big screen, and one of you can talk us through what you had put into your PowerPoint or whatever file it is. It could be an Excel file, a Word file, PowerPoint, you could load your own tab there and put in a video presentation that your group put together so that we could watch it during class. So it just takes a takes a little bit of time to get used to the navigating around, the bouncing back and forth between the different screens. But it's no different than when we were running our, our classes completely online using Teams meeting and asking them to bounce around. The only difference is that some of us are here in the same room together now. So there's lots of tools available that you can use digitally that worked quite well for online and for breakout activities, small group activities and whole class activities online. But they'll work just as well here in the big lecture theater. Uh, you just need to tweak your delivery of them a little bit.